All right. Hey guys, welcome to our special team Zoom. We have Lanisa Williams on here and I met her in Bradenton for a road rally. And then I approached her about getting a coaching call and now we're we've evolved into a team zoom and i'm really excited because she really helped me on that call lenisa i'm just gonna tell you i ate some non-organic chips today to, so i think it's all gonna be okay and awesome. you know what i mean <laughs> i know what you mean i know exactly yes. Yes, thank you. Um, and I'm halfway through with my homework and I'm gonna let you know when I'm done, but I wanna pay attention to it, you know? So I'm trying yeah. to do it correctly. All right, so Lanisa has a ton of experience and I would love for you to just tell us about you before we get into everything, because I don't think most people here haven't met you yet. I know Queen Mary has, Vanna has, Tasha has, I have, I think that's all. Okay. Okay, well, fair enough. Well, hello, hello, everyone. Um, what do you want to know about Lanisa? Okay, so first of all, I, I love life, guys. I totally love life. I, I, live, I live for love. I wake up every morning um, just asking God how he can use me. Now, my why as to why I'm here in December 13th, um, I started with It Works, but actually It Works has been a part of my family since about mm, 2010. And I met Cammie. Cammie was my friend back in, um, I was in California at the time, and I had gone through some um, not so great experience in the multi-level marketing industry, but I knew I wanted to get back in the industry. And so that's kind of how I met Cammie, but let's even digress even further than that. I don't know about you, but as a black woman, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, when your mama tell you she gonna want you to do something, guess what? You gonna do it. That's how I was raised. And my mother was one of those people that was a hustler. My mother had her PhD in education. She had her real estate license. She owned her own construction company. She had a construction license. She had a restaurant and she did a little Amway on the side. So what am I saying? My mom was a born hustler and she was raising Lanisa the same way. And got it. That's how you do this. What we do until life happens and you never know when it's going to happen. See, on February the 11th, I was with my mom at 8 p.m. By February the 12th, 1 a.m. in the morning, my little brother was calling me, telling me that my mother, at a young age of 56 years young, had passed away. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, that messed me up. Because I thought my mom really much walked on water. I really did. That's who I saw. And I'm going to be real with you. I got really upset with God, too. How could God take away someone that I saw that was really trying so hard to not just change my family, but I could see she was really trying to change the legacy of our family. Why would he take her away? And I remember God saying really quickly, Lenisa, your mom was very proactive to when it came to her career, but very reactive as when it came to her health. And the sad part, I was growing up just like her. My health was, you know, I was doing what I do. I was, my mom was um, born and raised in the South. And so y'all know, we ate everything from the rooter to the tutor. We just do it. You eat, you, you go, everything is around food. You sad, you eat. You happy, you eat. It's a celebration, you eat. Everything had food around it. And I knew at that point something needed to change. And, I, and I, I can't even lie to you. That was 2001. It took me to 2010 to make that change. But I made that change because I had three whys. And I realized if I didn't make that change, I wasn't going to be around for my three whys. See, I have twin daughters that are 31 now. And I have a son that's 24. And I know that just messed up some of you all. I am not, I am 53, getting ready to be 54 next month. And I am so excited about it. 
Let me tell you, every year, a new birthday lets me know God's doing something all right. I'm trying to be a Benjamin Button out here. So anyway, but um, I want to be around for my children's children's children, guys. And so I said, God, you got to do something. And God said, no, when he said, you got to do something. And so I started, I went on a journey. Y'all know it. We do diets. We do everything. We do health. I mean, we're just trying it. Yo-yo diets, um, exercising. I was in the gym three and four times a day. No lie. And I was losing the weight. But then I would put it back on. And then I was losing the weight. And then I'd put it back on. Until one day God said, Lenisa, here you go again. You're doing it all wrong. Matter of fact, I want you to stop all exercising and I want you to stop all diets because you're utilizing worldly tools to solve a spiritual issue. And that's when I opened up that wonderful book called the B-I-B-L-E. And it took me to Galatians chapter five, verses 22 to 23. And that's the fruits of the spirit, which are nine of them. And I tell you, I meditated on each one of those every week. At the end of the nine weeks, I'm not telling you this to impress you. I'm telling you this to inspire you. The end of the nine weeks, I eliminated without exercising and without dieting, I eliminated over 53 plus pounds. There is a key word that you all hear me say, and I said eliminate. Why am I not saying losing? Because anything you lose, you want to find. I'm not trying to find those 52 plus pounds. Trust me. Here I am. That was 2010. Here I am, 2022. I'm still, matter of fact, I'm, I'm probably smaller than that. But what God showed me real quick through that whole process is that where your mind goes, your body and your life cannot help but to follow. I'm going to say that again. When your mind goes, your body and your life cannot help but to follow. And at that point, I knew I needed to get back to what I loved in life, which was helping people. And I tried. I'm going to tell you, I did. Why did Cammie come to me? This is what I met Cammie. Did I have a run with multi-level marketing companies? I did. See, back in 2004, my husband was losing we were losing our home, and this was after my mom had passed, and he came to me, and I was a mother at home at the time, and he says, babe, we're going to lose our home, and I'm like, no way, what? He says, yeah, it's going in foreclosure, and I didn't know what to do. Well, I'm going to tell you just to make the story very short and quick. Guys, he wouldn't sign up for a multi-level marketing company, and you know I almost lost my mind. Why would you go sign up for a multi-level marketing company, and you know A don't work? Because it didn't work for my mom. We had tried several of them and it wasn't working for me. I mean, why would you go do that? We're going to get lost. We're going to lose our kids. But he had done it. And I'm going to tell you, for three, four months, he did nothing with it. Until one month, he said, on the, about the fourth, fifth month, he said, so Lenny said, can you go to a meeting for me? And you know, guys, I'm going to be real. You know, I was upset. Upset. How dare you? Tell me to go to something that I don't even want to do. But I went. And I'm going to tell you that first year, I loved the company. I was the number one recruiter in the company. But I will tell you, that's not what saved my house. See, that first year, even though I worked like a Hebrew slave, all I made was $888.88. That's all I made. And I had like six or seven um, states that I was traveling to weekly, driving to many of them, but I wasn't making any money because recruiting at the company that I was with didn't make you money. It was the back end service that made you money. So I'll never forget going to my upline and saying, listen, I'm quitting. I can't do this. I'm not doing this no more. It's not working. And we can lose our house and I love the company. I love the job. I love it, but I can't do this. And that's when God pulled me again, one more again. And he said, baby, let me whisper something in your ear. I need you to lower your IQ. Yeah, I need you to lower your IQ level, Lanisa. Now I'm going to tell you, 
When he said that to me, I laughed. Are you trying to make me dumb? You remember my mama was an educator. You trying to tell me to be dumb? What you saying, Lord? And he says, no. I need you to lower your I quit level, Lanisa. You quit too soon. Every time something is getting ready to happen, you quit. Quit quitting. Lower your I quit. And so this time, I'll never forget I didn't quit. And praise God, I didn't. Because in 18 months, guys, I went from living under the barrel to averaging forty to $80,000 per month. You heard what I just said. I didn't say per year. I was making forty to $80,000 per month. And I did that for three to four years until I chose a way to walk away from the company because the company didn't line up with God. Now, Hence 2010, that's when I met Cammy, did a little it works, but we she became like a best friend. Hence, December of last year, somebody rolled around after I, I had my holistic, I'm a holistic health practitioner as well as a certified juice therapist. And guys, I do a life coach. This is what I do. This is who I am. This is what I love. I love just being able to empower you to walk as the true authentic gift that God has called you to be in, which is you. There's nobody like you and nobody will ever be like you. And see, he brought us all here. And it works for a reason. See, there's a reason you are here. There's a reason. He needs you at a time such as this. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. See, do you understand the health and the wealth that's happening in this world, the crises that is happening? We all know what the pandemic did. It wiped out a lot of, especially my people. It wiped us out. And what was the first message? The people that were weak, who were not healthy, were taken out. And now what's happening? The people mentally, because of the pandemic, financially, has been taken out. This company, guys, we have a, we are, have such a powerful message when it comes to the health and wealth arena that can truly change the directory of this world. So yes, God needs you. He needs everybody on this call. He needs you because he can't do it alone. He cannot do it alone. So Carrie, I hope I didn't take up too much time telling a little bit who I am. Y'all, I'm a little crazy, a little cuckoo. I'm all over the place. I have not had any coffee. Trust me, I have not. <laughs> if I had some kitty, skinny brew, it would be all over the place. So this energy comes from him. Just know that it's real. <laughs> that was really good. I didn't know all of that. So I'm really happy to hear your story. And I know it resonated with so many people. The chat was blowing up and... I really appreciate that. Uh, one of, you, you got me. <laughs> I'm, I'm inspired too. One of the things that we talked about was working, growing this business, not with just social media. And I know like everybody on here pretty much works on social media and that's great. Like we don't want to stop, but it's good to add another element to it. And hey, yeah, go ahead. No, keep no going. and I wanted you, yeah. That was your cue. That was cool. okay. 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 So let's see how we got here. Let me explain how we got here. And I'm going to say this really quick. And um, Gary, keep up with my time because I have another four. I got a 445 after this. One more, one more, one on one. All right. Because you know, I could be here all day. I love you guys. I really could. All right. Think about who in here. Um, I need somebody to work with. Natasha. Natasha, work with me, girl. I know you. I know you. Come on, walk with me. Come off mute. Come off mute and work with me. All right. And you may have even heard this analogy, my red bottoms analogy. All right. You and I, girl, we have never had red bottoms ever. Okay. We go into the store, whole wall of red bottoms. All right. And we see them and they're running three, four, five, six, seven. We go for the $7,000. We go pick them up off the wall. We both like those pair of shoes. The clerk comes from behind. Natasha, what, what is the clerk going to ask us? Now, we got one pair of sh a shoe that we both like. What is she going to ask us? What do you think? This, it's not a wrong answer. What is she going to ask us? Um, I don't know. Why are we, 
I don't know. She's probably going to ask us, like, who's getting the shoe? Like, do you want me to check if there's another one? Or what is my shoe size? What's oh, your yeah. shoe size? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So she go, we should ask us our shoe size. She's going to go. I've never been in that. sales before. Yeah, that's I'm right. good with this business. No, girl, you good. You good. Because you, you, you good. Because trust me, that's this is good how you just said what you said. So she goes back, she gets her shoes. We walk out, Natasha. We're both excited. You got your new shoes. I have my new shoes. We're ignorant on fire. People know they 7,000, girl. We paint in the world. Everybody see our new red bottoms. But here's the second analogy. The clerk comes behind the, the table, and instead of asking their size, she does just what you just said, Natasha. She goes back, brings out two pair of shoes, same shoes. She gives you one and gives me one. Now, Natasha, how old are you? Oh, oh my gosh. I just got exactly. Okay, continue. God. How old are you? How old are you, sweetheart? I'm, I'm 30. Okay, you're 30. Okay, my daughters are 31. So you really could be my babies. Okay, so then you will really resonate. She's with not you. I called you five. <laughs> you really will resonate. Okay, so we both got our shoes. You walk out, I walk out. And we're excited, girl. We are excited. Now, I'm 53. You're going to be 54. You 30. Now, we're walking, and we both cute. we walking, and I'm keeping up. I'm trying to keep up with you because you're a little younger than me, and your step is a little faster than me. And I'm like, girl, slow down a little bit. And you're like, no, Miss Lanisa, come on, girl. Mm -mm. If you're going to wear them, you got to wear them because that's what my daughters always say. Mama, you got to walk in them. If you're going to do it, you better walk in them. Don't be wearing them half playing. So I'm keeping up with you and I'm walking and I'm walking. But about a month in, I'm looking at you like, girl, you, I got to slow down. I cannot go any further because my shoes are too small. And my toes are actually bent up in my shoes and they've been bent up in my shoes. But by the time I was so, I didn't want to tell nobody because I wanted them new red bottoms and I didn't want to embarrass myself. So. I just look at you and I say, girl, my feet are hurting. And you know what you tell me? Girl, just put your shoes back on. You'll be all right. Come on. We got some red bottoms. Come on, Lanisa. We good. And so I keep walking with you. And I keep walking. And you outpacing me. And I'm doing like this. Okay, that's okay. Go on, girl. It's okay. Go on, girl. It's okay. Go on, girl. It's okay. See, the voice keeps getting further behind because Lanisa done kicked off her shoes. Because Lanisa ain't playing the game no more. Because at 53, we don't care if our feet are cute. We care if our feet feel okay. And so soon you don't even see me. And I don't take my shoes back. Matter of fact, I just give them away. But Natasha, you now are with Carrie. See, Carrie's your leader and she's out here and she's killing the doggone thing and she's got the same red bottoms and you're running with her and you're like, girl, I told you I can do it. And she's moving and you moving and you moving. But the faster Carrie runs, your shoes keep falling off. And you look at Carrie, you're like, Carrie, hold up, girl. Why are you moving faster? I got the same shoes. And Carrie's like, I don't know. We're doing the same thing. Why your shoes keep falling? Oh, I think my shoe's too big. Carrie said, well, you better figure it out, girl. Come on, come on. I ain't stopping my pace. Come on, come on. Finally, you realize you can't keep up with Carrie, but you don't quit. Let's bring it on home. When you bring somebody into this company and you just give them a shoe, which could look like a board, which could be like messages, which could be like, whatever, here, just go do it. Guess what they gonna do? They gonna put the shoe on because they're ignorance on fire and they want the shoe to work. They want it works to work for them. But sometimes the shoes may be too small or too big. And even if we come and tell you, you tell me, no, just keep going. You ain't working it right. Why do I say that? As good as I am, and I believe I'm kind of good. <laughs> If you recruited me in this company this day and age, I don't know if I would be successful. Why? 
because my gift, and we all have them, is my voice. My gift is what I'm doing with you right now. You can see me. And if you told me all I could do was text and message, and that was the only way to build my business, I would do it for two or three months, but then I would tell you, I don't, I don't like this. Or I may not tell you, I just wouldn't be there. How many of you all got people ghosting you? They may be ghosting because they feet are hurting or the shoe too big. So with Carrie and I, there's another way to build a business. And all I want you all to do is pause. The next time that you are working with the newest distributor, pause and ask them, what's your shoe size? So let me tell you a couple of ways we can build this business. We can build it social media. Now, when you tell them social media, y'all be, be real. Tell them what social media looks like. See, don't do what some people do because I watch you. Oh, just an hour of your time on the phone or just 20 minutes of your day. And that may be true because it may be how you do it, but it may take somebody two or three hours to do 50 posts or whatever, or make a reel. Be very direct, be very specific in what they do. If it's 20 posts a day that they're going to have to do, tell them out the gate what it looks like. Then you tell them, and there's another way we can do our business. What's another way we can do a business? We can build it belly to belly. Now, what does belly to belly look like? Here it is belly to belly. Belly to belly, Zoom calls. Three-way calls. Try it presentations. Meetings at work. Meetings at McDonald's in the bathroom. May you wrap somebody. Meetings in coffee shops. Pop-up shops, one-on-one -on -one in your living room. Anywhere that you've got to do that voice and somebody can see you. Now, what does that look like? Be honest with them. That means they're going to get out of the comfort zone. That means they're going to have to be contacting. Hold on one second, guys. Is everything okay? Uh, okay, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna call you back. Oh, oh, he looks beautiful. Oh, okay, I'm gonna call you back. Love you. Bye. Okay, so why did I take that call? I do it. Reason I'm always in teaching modes. This is something that you want to teach us with your newest DT. The blessing of our company is that you can what? Family? Come first. Let me say that again. Family come first. What I love about our company, we, we understand the hierarchy. God, if you marry you, then your kids. And if my phone is blowing up because family calling me and they don't call me twice, oh, I'm taking that phone call. And guess what? That's what you need to teach to your newest person. So when they get on and say like, oh, I'm sorry. You say, no, don't be sorry. Take the call. Girl, let me tell you what kind of business you're in. This is why you're doing what you do. Always make it teachable moments, coachable moments, okay? All right, so, um, but I did just lose my train of thought. Let me think where I was. Where, where, where was I? Carrie, give me back, give me back. Belly to belly, different ways okay. to be honest. Belly, thank you. Belly to belly. So when you're talking belly to belly, tell them what that looks like. Because how that happens, when I say belly to belly, that means we're coming out the gate. We've got a minimum list of 25 to 30 names. The first 10, oh, you're going to see me do it. Yeah, I'll do the presentation so you can see how the presentation is. It was three-way calls and everything. They're going to hear me do it because they're my babies and they are scared. But the next week, guess who's going to be doing it? They are. So is it work to do? Absolutely. You want to show them what it takes on both sides. Now, I could break that down a little bit more, but I'm just, I'm skipping over some stuff. But, or they could do a combination of the two. 
After you share that with them, guess what you're going to do? Be quiet and ask them how would they want to run their business. And when they tell you how they want to run their business, you write it down and now you have something you can hold them to. See, before you just giving them something, you don't know if they like it, fits it, can wear it. But when someone gives you their shoe size, you know, now the only reason they don't fit it or wear it is because of some called excuses. And you can drop, you know what to do. I, I, I just did a live on our page right now talking about don't let people mess up your time. Your most valuable asset, everyone on this call, is your time. And I tell you, I get on day after day and I hear so many people giving me, giving me some excuses and I love them through it, but I tell them that's an excuse, baby. That's an excuse. We all got them. I want to hear what you're doing about it. It's the action that's going to change. I love God. When I tell you I love God, ain't nobody out there can say it. I, I, I could have been a mere man. You love God? Who loves God? I love God. I, I could have wrote that song. But as much as I love God, God tells me every day, Lanisa, if you're praying for a table, you're praying for a table. I didn't make tables. I made trees. So that means you're going to get out there and work and make that tree, make that table. All right. I think that is really, Carrie, what I want to say. My bottom line is one size don't fit all, guys. You all have an amazing carry. Oh my God. I didn't know the wisdom that this woman has. I even told her, oh girl, you reason we're really, really, really doing this? I said, yeah, you got a power team. You need to decide who your power team is. Let's put the people in the right places. And you all should never have a problem finding distributors. Why? Because of Carrie. Let me, let me tell you why. I told Carrie, Carrie, I'm going to spill the beans. With her credentials and what she does, there should be a Zoom call every week like this for all new loyal customers. All your new loyal customers. See, when someone comes in and joins your team, you need to say real quick, oh, you can really have 90 days of coaching. They're going to be like, 90 days? What you talking about? Oh, yeah. See, you just don't buy products from us. We have a coaching call once a week with our da-da-da. Give her credentials. Please do. And she's going to accountability. Do you realize most people don't stay the course because of what? Accountability. Someone that keeps them encouragement. Someone that can just know that that's what your girl can do. She's a bad sister over here. So these are the kind of things that I say, Carrie, let's pull, let's come together, girl. You can do this. You have the team to do it. You have the bandwidth to do it. We just need to tweak a couple of things. And with that, I will be quiet and open up for questions or turn it back over to you, girl. So I, I have, I wanted to say something with regards to that. I had never had, I never thought about doing Zooms for our loyal customers, but it can be product centric, like every week different product centric, ingredient centric. They can ask their questions, which I think would be so invaluable. So if you guys are open to it, I, I'm going to do it regardless. For and my let customers. me tell you what, I don't mean to interrupt you, Carrie. Oh, go, I know guys, what when you get a loyal customer that gets it and understand it, that's your new DT. That's your new DT. You don't have to go. You get real good at getting loyal customers, plugging them in and pulling them out as distributors. Yeah, if you're afraid of belly to belly, this is the best way to start because it's like a no-brainer I, I didn't see what Tasha said because ha 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 came up but I bet it was sarcastic but uh <laughs> but this way our, our loyal customers are going to get results so they're going to keep going but like she said they're going to become distributors when they get results and when they see how easy it is it's the third-party tools like she always talks about I'm your third-party tool 
Like you don't have to do anything except get your people on. And you can even set up like a weekly email from your connect app to send out to all your loyal customers. Like it could be so simple. I'm not going to take care of your customers, like getting them there, but I will once they're on, you know? Okay. So love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Um, any other questions? Any other questions? Comments? Questions? Come off me. Talk to me. You guys, you can literally ask her about anything. She knows products. She knows the business. She knows ingredients. She knows literally everything. And everybody just knows. I don't know everything. But. <laughs> well, well, you're probably going to know, know what they are. No, but I, I want to see something. So remember when we were talking about the shoe thing? And I was like, oh my gosh, like such a light bulb moment. Like for me, I focus on like, like this is what I took from it like not the business side because I do that I know each and every one of these people better than they probably know themselves I know where they work I know their spouse I know their kids I know everything but it was the like what I took from it okay hold on okay almost my daughter's like you said one hour I've been on <laughs> these things for hours but what I took from it and I thought it was really cool is like how you, you're like you know you brought the shoe and I didn't ask the shoe size I took that in as a customer because that's something I don't do I don't do like what do you like what do you need I'm just like gummies perfect here you go because I'm so afraid of the upsell I'm so afraid of thinking that Oh my God, if they only went for the gummies, they don't have money for anything else. That's my problem. And so I'm like, not everybody needs the one product. And so I took that and I'm, I'm just like, what can you use right now, Natasha, to, oh, to, to truly eliminate that from happening again? What can you do? Now? <laughs> what can I use now? I mean, and I, I think personally, like, the products or maybe like you know doing like thinking too hard thinking okay, too what hard. do you think okay what what do you have for me what's one tool that we just launched that the you quiz can, the quiz. quiz i wouldn't talk to anybody now i'm serious as much carrie knows and i know i ain't talking to nobody i'm gonna be like oh, hey oh out because i don't know everything you know what but there's a quiz that we put together that's um, the, um, no, just, that's gonna be going. just like like maybe if we can get the results from our people so we can message them back like mm -hmm. maybe you can do some I think that'll be cool like if they take the quiz I get the results and I'm like girl I saw your results like I I think I tried this, this I and think this. they're working they're, they, okay. they we wanted to push there's some other things coming with it okay. it is I'm gonna so push we the needed quiz to there. push it out we have to get it out okay I'm gonna try that quiz because I'm so is, afraid I'm so afraid of, of the bigger packs. I'm afraid of, it's crazy. Cause I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, but I'm, I'm afraid of that. And so that's a good one. Let Thank me, you. let me change your thought process. Do you want to see your people be successful with what they get? 100%. Well, then you should be more afraid to give them one product than give them a package. Cause one product does not work itself. Yes. So when you give one person, you you need to say, am I going to have a satisfied um, client? Be more fearful of that than upselling them. Because if they upsell and they don't and it doesn't work, that's on them. But if you don't give them that option, that's on you. I like that. I like that. Be afraid of them coming back and be like, it, it didn't work. I mean, you only offer them one product. I like that. Thank you. Good job. Okay, you guys, we have time for one more question. Oh, yeah, I, come on now. I got to, one more. Um, I, think, I think my thing is not until, hold on, hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Got Let 10 me minutes. Oh, phone button blown up. But, but uh, uh, my next was not until 445. So you got me. I have a question. Yes. Oh, it's more about family because I really love how you were like, you know, you told everybody, Can we hold on, I got to take this. And you took that phone call, you know, and it's about family. I know a lot of us have family, have kids, you know, and, and we're all caretakers. How did you um, like create that? What am I trying to say? Like that, that separation between like, you know, letting them know like, hey, I'm working a business. Um, you know, I'll get back to you or like, you know, just kind of making that division between personal and business life because it does work all together, but we're trying to, you know, it's hard to make it fit. <laughs> I, I, 
Okay, I, and I get it. Thank you. Great question. Great question. Because my because like what happened was my kid started like my, you know my baby is like getting like really and I'm like hey stop it and then that happened and I'm just like oh my gosh, you know I need to I want to be that good mom and everything so that's kind of why I'm. Okay, yeah. so here's here is the the short answer that could be longer. Just be a woman of your word to your family. What does that look like? Like right now, whoever said, Natasha, was you said, hey, I told my kids, this is going to be an hour. Guess what we guys, we got to do. You got to make that hour. Because they listening and all they know is what mommy said. And if what mommy it doesn't do what mommy says, then I don't like the other side of what mama's doing because mommy is not living up to what she said she's going to do because of whatever she's doing. That goes to spouse, significant others, all of them. You have to show up and be the woman of your word. If you say, baby, it's going to take me 10 minutes and I'm going to be present with you, guess what you got to do? 10 minutes, you putting that phone down and you getting present with that husband. You're putting that phone down. Kids, you said, I'm going to come in here. Me and you, we're going to enjoy ourselves over the next week. Mommy's going to go in here and have a power hour and do da 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 da. But when I come out, we're going to cook some brownie or whatever. Be a woman of your word. That's the short answer. If that makes sense. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Say it that way. Good question. But, though. but what if you can't reason with your children because they're so little? I know someone wants to ask that. A lot of you do because they're babies okay. and toddlers. What do you Just well, so you guys know, I'm not a bad mom. So Zia is only five years old and she can't tell time, okay? So it hasn't been an hour yet, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was cute. I love it. Okay. So that's great. So what does that mean? When people, when kids are babies, they don't understand. They don't understand time. They don't, but who does understand time? You. That's why I said, what did I say? At the end of the day, don't allow anybody to waste your time. That means you have to get good at not wasting your time. And many of us with little kids, we use excuses. Because when the kid's down, that's what you want to do. You won't be down. Or when the kids are quiet, that's what you want to do. You won't be quiet. Ain't time. You got to do double duty. See, there's a place in the words that talks about go work your nine to five. Your nine to five is those kids if you're a mother at home. That's your nine to five. But your five to nine, that's when you work your purpose. And a lot of times when we in that five to nine, we, we want to make excuses. And we're wondering why our purpose is not growing. It's not growing because you're not putting time in it. You're finding excuses as to why you can't do it. I need you to find some excuses as to why you can do it. Stop wasting your own time. Again, that's just an excuse. We all had kids. We all raised babies. If it ain't a kid, it's a dog. If it ain't a dog, it's work. If it ain't work, it's something else. I'm... Great question. Thank you. I like that answer. No one ever listens to me when I say what to do when I take care about little, of little babies, even though I had a ton in this business, a ton of them. Um, okay, you guys, one more question. One more. These have been so good. Tasha's like, I don't have anything else. So I have a question that is not related to the business part of it, but it, you mentioned that you love God and I've been on this spiritual journey of my own for like the past year and a half. So you mentioned Galatians and then you did say where the mind goes, body follows. So for a lot of us, we put all our heart and soul into this business and we, we go, go, go. And then we get burnt out and then we just kind of let things crumble. So when you feel that you're at a low point, what are some scriptures that help you that really resonate? Because that is something that I would really love to know. Mm, great. Dory, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for asking that, this question. All right. So I don't necessarily have scriptures. But I am, I'm very protective of my time with God every morning. 
And I'm very deliberate about it. I didn't say intentional. Intentional means you're focused. Deliberate means you focus with a plan. I wake up every morning and I make sure if nothing else, I'm giving the first 15 minutes of my life to God, that first 15 minutes. Now, how can you do that? I will put some soaking music on some mornings, S-O-A-K-I-N-G, for those that never heard of it, Google it. I will allow that soaking music to penetrate my mind, body, and soul. I will then sometimes, Dory, I tell you that I did this. I did this for four years until I just, it's just normal for me. I woke up every morning, every morning and did something called morning pages. And I did three pages. Didn't know what I was going to write, but it was a note to God every morning. Some mornings I would just be, I love you. I love you. I love you. Or I need help. I, I just, that was my way of communicating. But I'm going to tell you, what keeps Lanisa energized and what keeps me from freaking out because you all think you got stress. Wow, if I could tell you all that's coming our way, and especially anytime you work for him, oh, the, the, it's going to hit you in all different areas. But the thing that keeps me okay and keeps me motivated, and I, this is going to sound simple, but I need you to hear it. I know who I am to him. And I know the battle has already been won. And because the battle has already been won, that's my daddy. And every day, everything I do, everything I do, I go to him first. I don't care if it's drinking a cup of coffee. I don't care whatever. Lord, do you need me to do it? When something is bad and I feel bad and I need that, Lord, help me. I'm going to pause, girl. And my first pause is, okay, Lord, I love me. And I know you love me. Help Lenisa feel better. Help me feel better. So it is just a pure, like me and you talking. That's how I do it. Me and, that's how we do. We just talk. Me and him, we're going to keep talking. That's how we do it. I hope that helps because it's not really a scripture. It's just him. I'm going to steal away with him. Every morning. No, that Every was morning. awesome. That was that was awesome. Thank you. Like I was sitting here and I'm like, I don't know if I should ask, but then something just came over me and I just really had to ask that. And you're talking, and I'm sitting here like trying to hold back tears. And like these girls know that I like I don't show my face a lot. Like I don't cry in front of people, but I think that was something that I needed. So yeah, thank you so much for that. Thank you for asking because I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm gonna let you go. And I'm supposed to say this. And I said it on the live. Guys, if you're not taking this business to the Lord every day, you've missed it. You need to be taking your business every day to him. It's a warfare. Y'all, I, I, I need you to hear me. It's, this is a battle, guys. It's a warfare. When you Y'all are dealing with the things that people struggle, the most common things people struggle with, health and wealth. Health and wealth. And if you don't think you need to be covered with the full armor, oh, you missed something. I can't cover you. Carrie can't cover you. It works can't cover you. That's why you got to go to him with this company. You have to say, God, order my steps. Show me what you need me to do today for it works. Because it's bigger than you. It truly is bigger than you. And if you're on this call, I'm just going to tell you, God love you. He loves you. He loves you. And I know it because you on this call. Because right now, it's about God is cleaning up his kingdom. Trust me, that's what's happening right now. And you've been called. All right, Carrie. Thank you, Lanisa. That you finished right on time. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming on here because you spoke to so many people. I could see their heads all moving. It was wonderful. Well, Thank you. you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you. If I can be of help to anyone, I am in the Southeast region. I will tell you, I don't know where some of you, but if you're in my region, please reach out to me. But if you're not in my region, reach out to me. Carrie knows how to get in touch with me. Just reach out to her. Um, if you, um, My number is, let me give you my number. I'll give you my number. It's um, area code 310-913-7982. Area code 310-913-7983. If you do text me, the only thing that I ask is that you please let me know your first and last name, the state that you're calling out of. So I know how to plug you in. But with that, I got to let you guys go so I can jump on this other Zoom real quick. Thank you so much. Love you guys.